In this video, we will show you how to create this UFO effect in Wondershare Filmora. First, shoot a video in overcast weather, panning from a front view to an upward angle. Navigate to Boris FX and add the particle illusion effect to your footage. In the effects settings, launch particle illusion. Within the search library, look for the basic emitter and add it to the timeline. Select the particle Nord and click on the shape image. Import a UFO PNG image, choose full color, and select a higher scale. Click on Apply. Scroll down and increase the scale to make the UFO visible. Then increase the life to more than 500. Set the velocity to 0, the number to 3, and the bounce to 0. Choose the basic emitter Nord and increase the opacity to 100. Set the tint color to black and adjust the tint strength to around 60%. Scroll down further and increase the life while decreasing the number. Click on a blank space and select the camera type as position. Reduce the Z position to move the UFO farther away and adjust the Y and X positions accordingly. Create a keyframe and at the end, increase the Z value to make the UFO travel out of the frame. Check the UFO movement and press apply. Now review the video to confirm the UFO movement. If you find any mistakes, relaunch Particle Illusion and adjust the end position of the UFO. Press apply again. Next, go to New Blue FX and apply the tint effect to the footage. Set the tint value to 28, saturation to negative 18, brightness to negative 50, and blend to 52. Apply the day for night effect. Expand the color, change tint to blue, and set it to 45. Expand the light change contrast to negative 18 and brightness to 5. Expand the darken effect and choose the blue color, setting darkness to 34 and sensitivity to 31. Next, go to the stickers and search for Smoke Screen 2. Drop it on track 2 and increase the speed to 2x. Then increase the smoke scale to 112 and adjust its Y position close to the sky. Go to the mask and select the pen tool to mask the smoke clip according to the sky. Increase the blur strength. Move to the basic settings and adjust the opacity to 64%. Apply the thick white smoke on track 3. Adjust its duration according to the desired effect. In the basic settings, increase the scale to 200, adjust the Y position, and rotate it by negative 75 degrees. Change the blend mode to screen and set the opacity to 49%. Move to the curve settings and increase the blue curve towards the blue side and the alpha curve towards the bright side. Set the shadow to negative 10. Duplicate the main footage on track 4 and change its opacity to 65%. Go to the mask and select the pen tool to mask the right side of the sky area where you want to place a cloud. Increase the blur strength. Turn on the mask path keyframe and at around the 6 second mark, adjust the mask points to follow the movement of the UFO. Also, adjust the opacity accordingly. Duplicate the main footage again on track 5 and follow the same process to create another cloud on the left side. Go to the effects panel and apply the film color 2 effect on track 6. Change the tint to 38, saturation to 6, exposure to 4, brightness to negative 10, and film gamma to 4.5. Next, go to the Boris FX effects and apply the BCC colorized glow effect on track 7. Match the duration of the effect. If you want a vintage look, you can stop here. However, to achieve a night look, change the blur amount to 1.7 and the overdrive soften to 24. Expand the colorize options and change color 2 to blue, color 3 to sky blue, color 4 to white, and turn on the color 5 option. Then apply an adjustment layer and perform color adjustments using exposure, brightness, contrast, and highlight settings. Go to the curve settings and adjust the alpha curve, bending the curve with red towards red, green towards purple, and blue towards green. Duplicate the adjustment layer and further adjust the colors to make them slightly darker and more bluish. Now select Smoke Clip on track 3 and mask it according to the sky. Increase the blur strength, apply the sharpen effect, and then add the cinematic bar effect. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.